Hi, my name is Aisha Al Hamadi, and this is the GCC Pavilion. So, uh, the GCC is the Gulf Cooperation, Cooperation Council, exactly. It's between six countries uh, UAE, Saudi Arabia, Oman, Qatar, Bahrain, and Kuwait. Uh, you will you will know more details about the countries and the, um, uh, the goals that they achieved and the history of the of the council. You uh, will see here the story of the pavilion. So, so the idea, is, as I understand, the council is um, it's a little bit like the Euro European Union. A little it's bit. A, it's same idea exactly. And where the different uh, states in the region are working together. So here are all the states and they are coordinating, right? Mm-hmm. All right, so let's go inside. And if you're coming from this way, you will see the, the countries, the flag of the country and the name of the country with the, a brief about it. Uh, this is a big pride for the region to have the World Expo here, right? Exactly. And everybody it's is very happy and has big pavilions here. Yes. And this is the first time for the GCC to uh, uh, to, to make like an, uh, to start the, um, the, their story and they share it with the, with the people from uh, around the world. So here, this started in 1981. Exactly, right? they found it in 1981. Uh, the ideas became uh, became from uh, Sheikh Jaber, the founder of Kuwait, and Sheikh Zayed, the founder of uh, UAE. And then the first country that uh, joined the, the council is uh, Saudi Arabia. Uh, as the, as you see, they uh, they put it with uh, with this. Uh, they start uh, with UAE and Bahrain. It's uh, based on the alphabet in, in Arabic. So, Alif, Ba, and then Ta. It's uh, after that scene. Uh, so here it explains a little bit what's happening in terms of um, working together, kind of like on synchronizing the laws or the systems and everything. Uh, they they had the uh, the first agreement. Uh, it was the it was about the economic. So it uh, it's the economic agreement. It was with the same uh, year of the of, of founding uh, the uh, the council. And uh, here you will see some pictures of the founders. Uh, and here is the first uh, meeting that they had, and it was in, uh, in Abu Dhabi. And these are the, the objectives. Exactly. So strengthening ties, cooperation, and keeping the peace in the region is important, and stability and everything. Exactly. We are working as a brothers in one home. And uh, here you will see the, the idea about the, the, um, the logo. So they chose this shape based on uh, the numbers of the the number of the countries. We are six countries, and we have this uh, this shape. Uh, they choose this color based on the the gold and uh, the the sand of the of the desert. And you will see here the first GCC uh, encyclopedia. So the first GCC encyclopedia, oh, you talk, this is like more like uh, archaeological finds, right? Exactly, yes. Uh, in the region, mm -hmm. there's a lot of history going back thousands of years, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, maybe some of all these artifacts in the different museums in the exactly. GCC countries. And uh, if anyone wants to know more about this or, or they want to, to see it, they can visit the um, uh, Lufer, the Lufer right. um, Museum in Abu Dhabi. Uh, here you will see the, the sea of the Gulf, uh, Gulf Sea and there are 41 white ships uh, up a few and uh, above. Uh, it's based on the age of the, of the council, so it's 41 years old and the, uh, the gold one are based on the, the, the future plans. You will read here some of the co uh, some quotes 
uh, of the uh, of the founders of the of the council. So here we have Sheikh Zayed, the founder of the UAE. Sheikh Isa bin Salman, founder of uh, Bahrain. King Khalid bin Abdul Aziz, founder, the son of the founder of the Saudi Arabia. Uh, Sultan Qaboos, the founder of Oman. Sheikh Khalifa bin Hamad Al Thani, founder of Qatar. Sheikh Jabbar Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah, founder of Kuwait. Here is the first agreement that they signed, which I told you before, uh, it was in Abu Dhabi. And uh, you will see the subjects, the, the signatures of the founders, and the names of the countries. And this is the first, uh, here when they, uh, they, they established, uh, they start, when they start the, the agreement. All right. Mm -hmm. And you will see here some pictures from the first, uh, first meeting that they had from the beginning until the last one. And um, uh, so the GCC is very influential and powerful when they're together and, and deciding things and uh, doing deals with Europe, with the mm -hmm. USA and exactly. everything. So uh, they are working together. If they have any, um, like, um, any goals, they are working together to achieve. And here uh, is the, this is the picture of the last meeting that they had was last year in Al Ula, in Saudi Arabia. This is the, the biggest, the, the biggest um, building of mirror in the world. It's in Al Ula. Nice. And here you will see uh, some of the goals that they achieved before, the, before the, they start the council and they, before, before they, uh, they signed the agreement. All right, so many, many uh, things, and people can open these and see exactly, what's inside. Yes. There's more information right there. All right. And what do we get to here? Okay. Here, the International Strategic uh, Partnership of the GCC. So it's uh, between the GCC and the, uh, the other countries. Philippines, yeah. or maybe mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Canada. Canada? Yeah. Ah, you can touch? No, it's a sensor. Ah, it's a sensor. Yeah. yeah. Something wrong with it. Okay, no problem. Sorry. You can check it after. Yeah. Um, um, for here. Okay, yeah. I will tell you about the biggest uh, goal that they achieved. This is the biggest goal that they achieved until now, which is uh, the interconnection network. Basically, what's happened in this project, if any country of the GCC have uh, extra electricity, they can support the other countries directly. Actually, it just take like seconds. And for the future, they want to cover the Arabian region to reach Europe and India also. Nice. So it's a high power transmission lines that are transmitting a high amounts of power between the countries. Uh, potentially, there should come to be a lot of solar power. Mm -hmm. And then all the countries can share on the solar infrastructure, right? Exactly. And with batteries and everything. So they start this with the three steps. The, fa uh, the first phase, it was uh, between, um, it's connecting uh, the Saudi Arabia, Qatar, Kuwait, and Bahrain. Uh, the second phase, it's connect UAE and uh, Oman, and the last one connect the first phase with the last phase. Mm -hmm. For okay, and uh, I will tell you more here about the joint uh, standard standardization. System. Um, if any, if, for example, if you have a product and you want to sell it in the GCC, if you put only this uh, this mark uh, on on your product, so you can sell it in the GCC. Nice. Yeah. Uh, when you add all the countries together, it's many millions of people, right? 
mm -hmm. it's, uh, especially with Saudi Arabia. But uh, this, like many million, it's a big market. Exactly, and we are. They, they, uh, for the, for, for example, the citizens of the UAE, if they go to uh, to live in Saudi Arabia, they are. Um, they, they will be like the same. Uh, they will have the same uh, uh, benefits and it's access like, exactly. It's a little bit like Schengen, uh, the Schengen Agreement in Europe, where all the different Schengen countries mm -hmm. can go to any country they want. So people yeah. from one country can go everywhere they want. In exactly. GCC. Also, if they want to buy like an, a land mm -hmm. and uh, building or any house, yeah. house, any, Car, anything, anything. Yeah. So they they. Uh, they have the same. Also, if they work in the government of the of the other country, they they will have the same salary, and they will have the same like um, uh, the healthcare, uh, yeah. education, um, all everything. everything. And here the Hindu here you will see some uh, of the uh, some information about the statistical. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, so uh, if you have a passport from a GCC country, you have access to every country in the world nearly, no? Uh, actually, now we don't, uh, we don't um, uh, trans uh, transfer from uh, any country of the GCC. For example, from Dubai, from our UAE and uh, to, to Saudi Arabia, we don't need the, no the passport. passport. Only, ID. only ID, yeah, it shows this logo, yeah. the logo of the GCC. So if, if there is a, if it shows this uh, this logo, you will not need the yes. the passport. Potentially, you don't even need a passport to go to Europe, but that's in the future. Yeah, if yeah, you make an agreement, future. you can just have ID card and yeah. go from 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 one to the other. Exactly for the future only uh, for uh, for the GCC only. We just for the citizens actually. So we we are, we just need this uh, the ID. And here uh, the military cooperation and the security cooperation. So um, it's important to stabilize the region, um, uh, not have any wars going on uh, inside the GCC c countries. Nothing is happening. No, yeah. but we can like uh, they help each others for security, but not for uh, not for fighting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe um, what what I can imagine happening is that the GCC countries. Are working together to try to bring peace in other countries. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. So, for example, uh, we have uh, Peninsula uh, Shield Force. Mm -hmm. And in terms of security. And for the security, also uh, joint action uh, to combat uh, terrorism. Yes. Yeah. Peace in the world. Exactly. All right, so where are we going now? And here, this is the sand art. This is more, this is small balls are moving by the electricity, uh, by the magnetic. magnetic, exactly the magnetic, sorry. So uh, the, the, the middle circle, uh, it's rotating the Khalijna uh, Wahid in Arabic, which it means we all are one. And the others are writing the, the names of the countries. And you will see here, the Emirat, Bahrain, Saudi, Oman, Qatar, uh, Al Kuwait. Uh, so the, the magnet is, is this thing or is it under the sand? Uh, both actually, down and, uh, and both. up. Both, mm -hmm. all right. So it's, uh, and there you have a railway going on. It's yes. really happening or it's just a project? For the railway, they are working on it now. It will open uh, in uh, 2025. It will be... Uh, fast connection. Exactly. How fast will be? Very fast, maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, will be... So there's all the distances right here. And maybe it will be going at fast speed. All right. I was wondering. All right. And there you will, you will see uh, some of the uh, global events in the GCC uh, region. 
uh, as you know, the, uh, Expo now in uh, oh sorry, Expo now in uh, in the UAE, uh, and G20 it was last year in uh, Saudi Arabia. Uh, next year, inshallah, will uh, there will be like uh, the FIFA World Cup? Yeah. Um, in Qatar. So Qatar is qualified already. Hopefully, some of the other teams, Saudi Arabia, will qualify maybe to the World Cup to play in uh, the World Cup. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Inshallah. And uh, here, the it shows what the the, the GCC countries are doing for for COVID uh, nineteen. Uh, yeah, uh, when we look at COVID-19, as far as I've seen, the countries have had not too many problems mm -hmm. in the last two years. So they, su they, they support each other and also they support the other countries around the, uh, around the world. So if, they, if, they, uh, if anyone wants to know more information about the pavilion, they can scan this, uh, this barcode. So pause the video and scan right now. The, this one in Arabic actually ah. and this one in English. There. Okay. All right. And uh, thank you for your visit is it what it says. So where does it go to now? Projecting screens, water, 